It's Monday, and we want to give a happy birthday shout out to Josh Beaton and Hannah Hastings. Happy birthday, guys. Uh, come in and get some lift on. So today's workout is a lift day. We're going to be trying to max out two lifts today. So it is a perfect day to make sure we get into the gym. Remember, I always say it, don't miss a Monday. Set your week off on the right foot. Because everybody always says, Wednesday, Thursday, if every week rolls around, I'm like, hey, how come you haven't been in? Don't worry, I'm going to be back next week. Monday, Monday. But then if you skip Monday, then it just becomes easy to skip again. So make sure you're getting in. It is Monday and it is a lift day. So a lot of people like those days. We're going to have 20 minutes to find a one rep max front squat. Okay, something we haven't done in a while. But basically we're going to be warming up to that and then we're going to make our final lift and see how heavy we can do on a front squat. Okay, so something we want to make sure that we're doing today. Again, I've made this example uh, in previous videos is not crushing the cat. And so keeping that core nice and tight is going to be the challenge, especially on those heavy weight. Because as we go down, the hardest part is keeping those elbows up. Because as soon as I crush, now I have to re-bring that weight back up on my shoulders to come up. And that's usually how it sticks you in the bottom and you're not able to come up. So if you can keep that core nice and tight the whole time, use those legs to drive, keeping that core tight, you'll be able to hit that lift. Then once we're done with that, we're going to move right into finding a 15 minutes to find a one rep max strict press, okay? Tighten the core, dropping those elbows slightly, and we're going to try to squeeze and press through. So something I've been trying to tell some of my one-on-one -on -one clients is not leaning back. This is not an air bench press, but if we can think of starting to brace sequence through the feet all the way up through our body, so we're going to create tension in the body, especially as we're pressing overhead, you're going to be able to lift more weight. So we start by planting those feet nice and solid. From there, I'm going to try to grip the whole floor with my heels and my toes. Okay, I'm going to try to spread my feet out and like turn them out just slightly, trying to separate the floor. And then I'm going to squeeze my quads nice and tight, squeeze my butt really, really tight, squeeze down on my belly. I can squeeze my belly without holding my breath. So I'm squeezing really, really tight right now and I'm still able to talk. You should be able to do so the same. I'm not holding my breath and getting lightheaded. But then from there, once I squeeze everything, I have all this tension that I'm able to just drive right through my barbell and then I can come back and re-rack as opposed to being loose in my core, putting all that pain and weight back in this lumbar, okay? That's how we have back tweaks. So make sure we're nice and tight in that core, squeeze everything, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the way through, and then come right back down, making sure, what did we say this before? Elbows track in the same direction, not flaring out, okay? So it's gonna be a fun day. 20, what, 20 minutes to find our front squat and one, 15 minutes to find a one rep max strict press. Have a great Monday, guys, and we'll see you back here for Tuesday's workout.